Hey guys. I'm gonna start my own band called Beast is Fat. Because look, like I got this shirt for free. The band Napoleon from Toronto, hardcore band from Toronto, post hardcore, hardcore, whatever you wanna call it. Um, they were kind enough to uh, give me the shirt, and I like it. But when you sit down, because it's like has this big print on it, it kind of wrinkles up a little bit. It makes me look fat, I and mean, it actually may, it actually portrays a uh, myself perfectly because yeah, I I, I'm say, not skinny, so I am what I, I was am. Gonna say. I am what I eat. So Funny enough, this band is what we are on a daily basis. What beast and blood? Yeah. Oh, I, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, I see what you did there. It took me a little bit of time. I was a little bit slow, but I finally got there. So anyways, they have a new song out, Power of the Beast. That's the one we're going to check out right now. This one won the Patreon poll of the week. Surprise, surprise, with 70% of the votes. A landslide, if you ask me. How much percent of the song do you think is going to be? Magic Hands? No, like... Uh... Mine? No. Keyboards. Ah, oh, Okay. Uh, a huge percentage of the band. Uh, I mean, of the song. All. And the band. <laughs> and the band. And the band. All right, so, uh, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's check this out.
<clears throat> All right, I just making sure we know we're not missing anything. All right, so uh, what do you think about this uh, Beast in Black new song, Power of the Beast? Uh, with know. Cotton Candy voice over there. When he came down with the with the mic like that, it, it reminded me of the people that sing into those. Uh, do you know those like fans that are like that, like that small? It reminds me of people who sing into those, like they lip sync into those and shit. That's also me, like, when I'm singing in the shower, I have, like, the fucking, um, the shower head in my hand, and I'm, like, singing, the water's hitting me in the face. Same shit. Fuck, there's a visual I didn't want to have, but okay, no, now it's here. That's, uh, that's how it is. And then I get into my Giannis Papadopoulos, just a little bit, but, uh, I, I don't want to know what other people are hearing. Definitely not Giannis. <laughs> definitely not Giannis. What are they list? They're not, so they're, what, uh... I'm, I'm not, not sure what they're hearing, but unless it's him singing, that's not what they're hearing. But anyhow, uh, d did you enjoy? I'm not the... Greek. I'm, I'm Macedonian. Like what uh, am I? You're you're. I don't, I don't I don't even know where this conversation is going. Can we get back on track here? The song. It's a new track, a new video. Give us the scoop. What's your thoughts on this new Power of the Beast track? Well, my question before the song was how much percentage of this was going to be. Okay. But that's like, synthesizer. That's a, uh, but that's a given. But uh, they but they responded with yes. Yeah, but I mean, like is, they responded with. Is by there the way, even a question? They, they not only responded with yes, but they responded with one of the fastest uh, Beast and Blacks uh, synthesizer riffs or whatever like <laughs> melodies, melodies that I've heard ever. Like normally they're very fast, but also they have a good rhythm to them. This is like fucking uh, Dragon Force uh, of on keyboards uh, on, on <laughs> keyboards. I'm like, holy shit, yeah, okay. I asked for it, I understand. Um, but that's a given. I mean, that's a huge part of their sound. I mean, I know, I don't, that's I not going to go anywhere. But you know what's funny? We make fun of it, but I love it. I love the synth sound. We make like fun it. of it. Well, when did we ever make fun of it? If we had patience uh, and editing skills, uh, I would definitely have this is where we, oh, of this black is black and white <laughs> of us making fun of it. Oh, this is where time. we do like, uh, like uh, what do you call it? Uh, the... We have a flashback. Yeah, man. There's definitely parts of vlogs that we've done where we've made fun of like. Okay, uh, good thing we don't. Good there. thing we don't have those skills. The uh, patience, no, those skills. We have to skills. go through so many videos. Yeah, good thing we don't have either one of those. Uh, plus, we don't want to call ourselves out. I, I mean, like it'd oh, be different if we had an editor. Uh, then uh, they would do it for us. Why would we do that? So anyhow, um, so continue. So you were saying. But I, I, you know, like I said, even though we do make fun of it, it's just lighthearted make fun of. I love that shit, man. I love the. It's one of the bands that, that do it. They do overdo it sometimes, but they do it very well. Okay, so so let me say this to you. I I, I think I, I I've changed my view on that from previous times, which perhaps I I took a little bit of a a lighthearted gamble on on set synthesizers by saying this. They, they compensate the use of the synthesizers by still having two outstanding guitar players mm -hmm. that still give us guitar solos. Exactly. Uh, it, which it still allows the track to be a metal track, you know, at the end of the day. Yes. So, which, it, so it's which... not like it's not like they're they're just doing one thing and then completely, uh, you know, uh, drowning out drowning metal. out everything else and 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 putting to waste two incredible guitar players that they have. Uh, which would to me would be absolute disaster. Of course, of course. It, it would be like having Giannis in the band and having him just singing backup vocals. Like, why would you do that? Like, it just doesn't make Those sense. Some really good backup vocals. Oh yeah, yeah. But but that's not why. That's not what brings all the boys to uh, the yard. Exactly. So right. you know. So what I'm saying to you is that I I can I can their sound is very 80s influenced. So if you're gonna have a, a very 80s influenced metal sound that has a party atmosphere and a party vibe the, the the synths have to be there it's just it's just part and parcel and they use them very well and it's it's it, it's been there from the beginning it's not like you know in album 20 they finally decided to do that no it's, it's i think it, it, it's always been there but it's now become it's, more predominant it's become, with every yeah, record it's become more predominant but it's yeah. always been there it's always but, been there, yeah. but it's 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 not like the it, it would, it's, it's not like... It, okay, for example, Sabaton. They I don't know you're explaining army. this to me like I don't know this. No, no, I'm just saying the, oh. the Sabaton wears the army fatigue since the first record. It, it's not like, you know, 10 albums in, Art of War. Okay, let's wear camel pants now. Like... And get rid of the suits that we had the album before. You know what I mean? So it's not like... Uh, these guys have been kind of true and true to their sound, to who they are. Given it's becoming more... has become more predominant with every record. But they still... They still give themselves room... 
to infuse the metal, the, the metal sound yeah. into the tracks with, with the solos, with the melodies, with the riffs. So it's still there. So I, I, I don't have an issue with it at all. I would have a bigger issue if I, if there was no, no solos, solos and I don't hear the guitars and and so forth and so forth. At that point in time, then I'm just listening to Swedish House Mafia. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Mm. Okay. If there was no solos and I can still hear the guitar in there, I would still be mad. Because when you have really good guitarists, the last thing you want is for them just to be rhythm the whole time. Exactly. You want them to show off. But, but so you the always fact get that, that. Yeah, so the fact that they, they do the solos and do the This was actually really cool with the two solo back to back. Exactly. Really cool. I like that. I really, I was going to get to that. Because that I'm, also brings that old, like they have that 80s influence in their sound. So when you have so a song like this. It an old school vibe, yeah. Exactly. It uh, brings an old school vibe to it. And, it it, and it brings like it all that. together. That, that's why I'm like, you need the solos. The solos are what is what makes the, the 80s synth stuff acceptable. Well, not only acceptable, but it, it allows there to be so some, the, somewhat of a balance. More palpable. Yeah, somewhat of a... Not palpable, because I still love the 80s song. Even on 80s songs that do it, I still no, love but it. If wanna, but, but if you want to... But from a it, metal standpoint. From a metal standpoint, if you still want to call this metal, you need that, because it's a waste to just have these uh, the guitar players doing rhythm the entire time. You need them to Especially when they're that spark talented. out. Exactly. I mean, exactly. If, they, if, if they didn't, if that's all they knew how to do, it's a different story. I mean, sometimes you're limited to what you what you can do, but it's not the case with them. No. Th this band is really talented across I all, know, all know. positions. I you know what I mean? Like, all positions. They're, they're, I do know. You know what I mean? I so know. it's it would be a waste to not, not use it to their full extent. Now, when Mr. Uh, Cotton Candy Voice came on, I was like, oh, man. I know. He, I missed he... it. I missed, I missed Beast in Black music. This was good. And when he came in with that voice... Funny enough, I, w I was uh, driving home from work the other day, and I was, like, falling asleep. Like, it was tough, right? I, I didn't drink any coffee, and I have no caffeine. It was late at night. And then I put on my uh, my metal playlist on, on my Spotify, and then Moonlight Rendezvous, and I'm like... Well, this is perfect for a drive home. I undid all the windows so the wind can start hitting me in the face. Fucking, I made it all. I was, I was pumped. Yeah, it, it's perfect for a late night. It was a late night rendezvous. I know, and and this song has a lot of that too. <clears throat> this song is very upbeat. It's it's very upbeat. I enjoy and and what's funny. All it was we, nice that they had pink meme, in the video we, too. God damn it! We we meme, we we meme the the synth stuff right and whatever. But I I gotta admit, I think some of the some of my favorite Beast of Black songs are from this uh, heavy synth era. Yeah, because it has that eighties vibe it's to it. It's so hooky, yeah. It's like it's, it's like you're watching Miami Vice on steroids. You know what I mean? Which I feel like, which that brings me to something else, to the costumes in this. I feel like they need to be dressed. Uh, I like the jackets. I thought the jackets was a nice touch. Uh, but don't you want to see uh, Giannis in like a nice white suit with a fucking with the with the, a black bow tie? No, with the pink undershirt, like really Miami, like. Or really? like going full on, full on Vice City. But this video, I don't know if that would work on this video because this video almost has a little bit more of a seventies feel to it. Like they're like in a cabaret. It kind of, it kind of feels a little bit more. I don't know in the seventies if they had cabarets. I'm sure they did. Cabaret. They didn't have them in the eighties, that's for sure. Okay, but cabaret does feel like something that was even earlier on. I don't know. I I got that vibe. W whatever. I got that vibe. And, and even the mic, those mics is from that like seventies. You know, cabaret area, like late 60s. No, man. Like, earlier. Earlier. You think it's earlier? Way earlier. Like 50s? Earlier. Fuck, 40s? Cabaret. Cabaret, yeah, okay, maybe. I, I was I, I'm like having my I'm having my decades all mixed up. So, anyhow, the point being is that I don't think that what you're asking for would, would be suitable because of the way this video is. Now, no, I noticed... The, the, the thing saying, I oh, had, yeah, you know, Prohibition happening in the 70s. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, this is the Prohibition era of time. This was in the 20s, That's right? the 20s. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, so that's... fine, fine. Uh, not the 70s. Uh, take 50 off of it. So, anyways, it's on discount. Uh, the point being is that... Uh, I was re reference also the the two cops that arrested uh, that arrested Pink. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they look like some like they look like they just got out of the Blue Oyster Club. For those of you that have watched uh, Police Academy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know. They felt a little a little edgy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyhow, um, but I like the fact that they all had uh, different jackets. And uh, and Yanis's voice is just like a thing of a thing of beauty. I know he came down and he, he had something around around his face though. Somebody should have told him to. Like... Dude, he came down and he started to serenade that yaya in front of him, and he was the Mima? Yeah, the yaya. He was he was serenading her. 
she she got twenty years younger just by listening to his voice. I thought that's who he hit with his power because she went flying a little bit when he when he did the power. I'm like, <laughs> did, I was, did, I was did he just say, did, did he, he hit just... her? She turned young. Like I was about to. Say. Oh, that would have been cool. That's like those. That's like uh, that would have uh, been the power of the beast. No, no, him no. turning old people into young people. That would be like those fucking uh, Asian commercials where it's like a dark guy and they put him in the washing machine. And he comes out and he's like a white Chinese dude. I've and seen those. You yeah, see the I've seen dude? Those. those sometimes I'll be like sitting randomly. I'm like, I want to watch funny ass. I go watch Asian commercials because they're funny as shit. Like, no, they just there. There's no give. No fucks given. No fucks given. There was the toothpaste one where it was that guy and he lies down on the toothbrush and the toothbrush becomes like that that <laughs> just him on the toothbrush. I don't know. Like I haven't seen that fun? one. I've seen the the dish the the washing one. But a- anyhow, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I must say this video checked a lot of diversity boxes. So good yeah, for them. Yeah, 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 good, yeah. good for them. Good for them. Uh, I really enjoy the 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 song. Um, the video. The video is the video. The video is the video. I, I've seen better videos from them, but I'm not gonna hate. I'm not gonna hate. I would love to to see them in, in a venue. I like think that, this though. video would have been better if, like you said, instead of the the leather jackets with the different colors, if they all came out like in like those twenty gangster suits, the three piece suits, <sighs> with the hat, on. with the hat, with the fedora, like the like fedora on. B- because the, the the whole thing had that cabaret, cabaret vibe to it. Even his mic. Oh, and they should have came out with like. Like it looked like they would play. It, you know, they should have came out with different instruments that you would have in a cabaret. But it's all the metal sounds out of it. Like you're already, it's already a music video, so it doesn't have to. You don't have to hold the guitar and the That's and, true. and the and, and the bass doesn't have to be a bass. And, 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 and to be honest, cello it, it, his power instead of stopping the guy, the thief, and 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 pink, it, it should have really turned the old lady into a young lady. Because that would have been fucking phenomenal. Because that would be the true... You know why that would be the true power of the beast? Because their music makes you feel young. That's very true. Their music makes you feel young. It doesn't matter if you're 80, 70, 50, 40, 30. Their music makes you feel young. So the true power of the beast is in their music, giving you youth. So when he goes like that, he turns her into a young woman. Would have been amazing. I like how uh, at the start of it... Like when, I have when, great ideas. I like how when the music started, everyone was like, uh, and then his voice came well, out. One guy for the bill. Yeah, and, the, and then when the voice came out, it's like, oh, you know. His voice uh, would sell ice to Eskimos. Yep. This guy, there's nothing he cannot do. One of the greatest singers of our generation. Hands oh, down, he, hands down. And the fact, I think he's only, in my opinion, he's underrated. Underrated because he makes metal. Like, he... Oh, he could sing whatever he, he wants. He can sing whatever he wants, and he would be... a a big, way bigger name than what he already has. But the fact that he sings metal music is what is keeping him on on the, on the down low. I think for him to go into a different level, he needs to do a song with uh, Sleep Token. Oh, I thought you were going to say uh, he's going to have to pull a... Who, who was the one who went out of New Edition? Fuck. Uh, I have no idea. You know, you know the band, you know the group New Edition and how one guy went solo and he was like the bigger guy. I don't know. I was gonna say Chris Brown, but I don't think it was Chris, Chris Brown was definitely not. No, <laughs> I don't, think, I don't think it was Chris. Ah, Brown. is that it right was, not him? It was someone else. It was someone. You else. know, I think he should. I think uh, Yana should do a song with BTK or BKT or whatever the fuck those Korean people are. Oh, BTS. BTS. BTK is a serial killer. BTK no, is a serial killer. <laughs> he should not do a song with that guy. <laughs> he should not do a song with that guy. Not. No. No. That's no, not a good he idea. Do, he should do what uh, Floor did. <sighs> Because Floor went on some, like, fucking TV show or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then people, I guess people who didn't know who Nightwish were found out. Because then I saw people posting, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. So, like, you should do that. Go on some, like, TV show and show off his talent. I think he should go uh, and represent Finland at the next Eurovision. Or Greece. Finland. Finland. Beast and Black should just represent <laughs> Finland. I, uh, I think they would win. But anyways, that's just me. Uh, all right, guys, uh, hit us up in the comment section. Let us know your thoughts on this uh, latest offering. Oh, I was going to say, with the money he makes from, from Eurovision, he can buy a lot of Oikos and pizza. With the money he makes from... I don't think anybody makes any money on Eurovision. Oh. Maybe post-Eurovision. Post-Eurovision, they make a lot of money. Maybe post-Eurovision, you know. Post-Eurovision, there's a lot of money to be had. So a lot of Oikos and pizza. You know what's funny is, that was something that happened... From a live stream long, long ago. We still haven't we done still it. still haven't tried Next it. time. Next time. Next well, I can't, time. I can't have Voikos. Like, I'm lactose intolerant. You can't have Voikos. No, but you got to try it. Um, no, no. I, I No, no. But you got to take a lactate. Take a no, lactate. Uh, no, it's not happening. All right, guys. Anyways, on that note, hit us up in the comment section. Let us know your thoughts on the latest from Cotton Candy Voice here. Giannis Papadopoulos himself and Beast in Black. We'd love to hear from you. We'll see you all at the next one. See ya.